Howdy folks, welcome to Hawkmeyer Outdoors. And on this episode, we're going to be taking a Old Hickory 14 inch butcher knife and turning it into a real machete here. We're gonna do a few simple modifications and uh, we're gonna take you through the whole process. Thanks for watching. Hey team. To get started on your modifications, the things that you're gonna need is of course, you're gonna need your 14 inch Old Hickory butcher knife. You're gonna to wanna to keep the sleeve that it comes in, or if you, you know, lose your sleeve, you can use duct tape. You're gonna put this to protect yourself from getting cut when you're uh, doing the initial process. You're gonna need a hammer. You're gonna need a hand sander. This is what I use. You're gonna need at least two clamps. These work the best. My other one broke, so I gotta use a C clamp as well. You're gonna need a some type of little blow torch. Of course, a lighter. A two-part epoxy of your choice. Some kind of gun blue. Mineral oil. Alcohol and mustard, yellow mustard. On the first step, we are going to smooth out these handles. There's a lot of hot spots on here and it's, a lot, it's really uneven in a lot of places. And I find that it works best to go ahead and get the sanding done at the first thing. Handles all finished, and we'll move on to the next step. Um, one thing to add, probably another knife. Um, you wanna get something that's gonna wedge in between here because you want to do the opposite side of the old Hickory logo because it's a female and a male end. And this one, this side pops out much easier. Just keep working it off. You're gonna to want to uh, use some alcohol to degrease the blade. We're going to apply some gun blue to the handle because underneath the handles, they can um, they can start rusting and stuff like that. And we're just gonna to try to prevent that as much as possible. You're gonna take your gun blue. And you're just gonna apply it. And it's gonna turn colors and it's gonna give a little protection underneath the handles. Uh, reason why we're not doing it on the blade is because this isn't really food safe. So if you ever wanted to use this to cut a watermelon or anything like that, you don't wanna use gun blue. It's got some carcinogens in it and stuff like that. That's why we're gonna be using the mustard. But just uh, apply this under the handle and it'll protect it from the elements. You're gonna to wanna to be very careful. We're gonna go ahead and degrease the blade with some more alcohol, because we don't want any oils on it again. We want everything to, we want the mustard to set really well. All right, next we're gonna apply the yellow mustard. The vinegar in the mustard is what causes the forced patina uh, in the metal, so you need to Muster up the courage to get a little messy and apply this liberally to your, your blade here. And I'm going to do like a kind of an X pattern. All right, once you've left the mustard on the blade for about 10 to 15 minutes, really let that vinegar set in. You need to wipe the mustard off and then rinse it off with some water. Be very careful not to cut your fingers while you're getting the mustard off. And you can already see the uh, effects 
of that mustard. If the camera's picking that up, you will need to do several more coats per side on that until the entire blade has been covered with mustard. You get that full protection and that, that look you're looking for in there. The next step in the process of making this machete, we're going to scorch the scales of the blade. You're going to use your butane torch and your lighter. And you're going to be real easy with it. I want to make some uh, a distinct pattern in it. I like to go over the whole thing. Just get off all the little frillies first. And now you're going to make the distinct pattern. I'm going to go from the top. Try not to catch it on fire. Go down a little bit. And watch your hand here, you will get burnt. Very bottom. I've got my pattern. I'm going to go with that. That one to the side. And that is your finished handles. Howdy folks, and this is what it looks like after three coats of mustard on it. We have apply a coat of mustard, wait 10 to 15 minutes, wipe it off, rinse it off, reapply mustard. Try to focus on parts of the blade that you hadn't already coated with mustard. Now that you had the blade all done, you're going to be attaching the scales back on. You're going to be applying the two part epoxy. You're going to squeeze it out of the two and you're going to mix it together. Really good. I'm going to be putting it on to the, to the pins, putting it inside that. And a little bit, definitely in the middle. And to the bottom. And nice, even layer on there. Don't get it glooped up. I'm just using a screw head right here. Seems to work pretty well. Get nice and smooth. Line up, line it up. Push it down. Get your pins lined up. scales. After that we're going to clamp them together. Let's sit for at least five minutes. This epoxy says five minutes on it. Oh and if you have a vise just use a vise. It works as well. Once your uh, handle glue is set you're going to want to uh, apply a little chopping block oil or mineral oil onto the handle 
rub it in. And you also want to get some oil on the blade as well. So we took you through the steps to make a proper chopper. The old Hickory 14 inch butcher knife came out real nice. Meyer's gonna show you a little bit of how it came out. Yeah, that's the one we did on video for y'all. Bound to go wow wow. I'm pretty pleased with it. Came out real nice. But um, you can make your own. But uh, thanks for watching and have a good one.